Are they speaking to you, Nibu? Any chance somebody could tell us what's happening? You ready? Well, what what's happening? What are we what are you doing? Well, with the thing and they're using actual um, computers to do it and start back to choose your life. All right. Well, how will we know what's going on then? Well, anyway, but I mean, my ready's going on already, so. Well, tell us when to start then. If we're recording, can we shut the door and actually make it feel like we're doing something? Makai, we can still hear you when you're laughing. I, I know. Mikhail, just tell us when to start. Because we don't know when to start because if the lights don't like fade. Okay, when I when I see that TV light up, I'm gonna start. Alright, well, I'll just go and put that Because I don't know how else to tell. Alright, get ready, we're about to start. Hello, and welcome to Questions with Doug. Ta da! I'm going to start with question number uno. What's a movie you love? Well, I'm going to just say Blade Runner because it's my favourite movie of all time. Which one? It's the first one. Okay. That is a respectful and a lovely answer. Question number two. This might be a bit personal. Why do you have a buzz cut? Well, I don't really have any options these days because I've got a sunroof. Oh, yeah. And uh, if I had a haircut, it would be Bill Bailey, really. Um, oh, so the reason that's for okay if you're okay. a heavy metal loving comedian, but I'm not. Okay, so the reason for a buzz cut is balding. Okay, question number three: What do you think of the culture in Leeds, like the whole city, not just here? I think Leeds is great. I did my degree in Leeds in '88, and I mm. thought it was a shithole at the time. I didn't like really anything that was going on. There's a few pubs that were all right, but now I think I think we've done a really good job with it. It's a good city. It's got lots going on, lots of bars, nice place to go out. Yeah, feels very diverse. Feels multicultural. Everybody gets mm. on with each other. Too many people living on the street, but you know that's the same everywhere, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. On to question number four. What's your favourite type of food? <laughs> cuisine uh, pies a certain type of pie or just pies in Pre general? pretty much anything in a like pie like steak and ale yeah, oh chicken yeah, and lovely. mushroom yep. okay I, yep. I, I love that as well <laughs> alright number five what's your favourite actor like who I'm guessing it's Harrison Ford after Blade Runner answer maybe no not really he was good in that um, my favourite director is Luke Besson and he used a guy called Jean Reno he was a big nosed French chap in all of his films. Leon, have you seen Leon? No. Oh my god, I can't it's so say good. I uh, Jean Reno is in a lot of Luke Besson films. I think he's amazing. Oh, Check out Leon, though. It's an excellent film. Okay, I will. Number six, back into the religious type questions. What would you say is your favourite religion? <laughs> and before, we, before he says this, his favourite doesn't mean he hates all the other ones. So. I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't call myself religious, but I did do A-level religious studies at sixth form. Okay, so what would what's your I'm what's the most interesting religion? Well, I'm going to say Buddhism because I did A-level religious studies and I sent my daughter to a Buddhist school in Brighton, so okay. that would be my favourite religion. That's a, a lovely answer. <laughs> Number seven. This question was from Ryan. Why do you think youths turn to crime? Well, it's a mixture, isn't it, of necessity and excitement. It's mm. like, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, and I think easy money as well. Number eight. This is on mental health from uh, our good friend Joel Ward. Um, what's your opinion on how the government is, ta is tackling the mental health crisis? Well, I don't think it is tackling the mental health crisis. I, and I do think it is a crisis, and I, d I think... We've come out of the COVID time where everybody has been a bit scarred by it and a bit damaged by it, and it's kind of been swept under the carpet. Uh, I don't think anything's been done to address that at all. I think we all need a little bit of debriefing. People lost 
loved ones. I spent a year on and a half on my own in the house. Mm. It, was, it was very weird. It was a weird time. Yeah, COVID was a hard time. <coughs> I don't think anything's been done to address I that. I agree. And that is all for the questions. Thank you for watching Questions with Doug. <laughs>